Workflows. Do you have a good workflow set up in Todoist? Well, that's what we're going to discover in this week's episode of Working with Todoist. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode it's all about creating workflows. Now what do I mean about workflows? Well a to-do list manager is great because it's a place that you can organize your tasks into projects or labels, context, perspectives, whatever you want to call them and yet yeah, it all looks great. The trouble that most people have though is that they have way too many tasks on their today view. Now to do is gives us the ability to create what we call pinned favorites and what that does is that puts either a label, a project or a filter in the top part of the left hand sidebar. Now we can create whatever we want from this and if you use labels and filters for this you can create some pretty stunning workflows. Now most of you who followed this channel for a while will already know that I use my today's objectives, today's focus and the golden 10 as my workflow. But there are a number a number of other options that you can use and I want to explore those in today's video. Now before we go into Todoist I would like to ask that if you do get any value or any anything from this video then please help me by hitting that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then I would and you do want to get all the latest tips and tricks on using Todoist then please subscribe to this channel. There should be a video coming out every week. Okay, let's go into Todoist now and I'll show you a few options that you can use to create your very own workflow. Okay, so there are a number of ways that you can do this and what it really means is, is that we can actually create our very own daily workflows. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know that I am a huge proponent of creating a system that works for you. And that includes creating a workflow that works for you. Now, for those of you who've followed me for a while, also know that I use these three filters as my daily workflow. And what all you have to do, by the way, we'll get this out of the way to start with, is hit the three dots there and say add to favorites. And hit the three dots here and hit the three dots there and hit, hit to favorites and my golden 10 add to favorites. So essentially what's happened now is on these filters, these this is my daily workflow. Now fortunately for today, I don't have any tasks as you can see right up here. This is my uh, dashboard, which isn't actually my dashboard. I'm not using a dashboard in my demo account. But let's go down there. Now the way that I would start my day and it basically works from here. I start with today's objectives. I've got nothing today. Starts with tomorrow, today's focus. So essentially what happens is I start with my today's objectives, which will only ever be two tasks. And then I switch over to my today's focus, which does include today's objectives, but it also includes the two other, the eight other tasks that I would be focused on for that day. Now, I haven't, this is my demo account, so this is not actually set up for me personally, but this is how I would go at the end of the day, I would look at my golden tent. So that's just mine. If you're interested in my particular daily workflow, I put a link to the video that I did on this in the show notes. However, you can create your very own. By the way, as we're going through this uh, this um, <clears throat> video, uh, I'll show you some of the other things. What you can do then to remove these from your favorites is just hit on the three dots at the side of it, hide from favorites, hide from favorites, hide and hide from favorites. So that was mine. But there are other ways that you can create daily uh, workflows. For example, if your business, if your work is heavily uh, reliant on calls and emails, you can actually create your daily workflow around those. So add to favorites and we'll do email add to favorites. And actually, if, if my work was that way, I would probably have uh, add to favorites for my communications. 
and I would add them up here. So communications, calls and email. Now here's a quick tip about the favorites. Let's just say that calls is your most important label but as you can see causes in the middle here what you can do is all you have to do is drag that above communications and you'll see that it goes to the top let's say email is a second important so you drag that and that moves them so the order <coughs> excuse me the order of your favorites will always go the order down here so we've got projects labels and then the order so it's the order of projects the order of labels and equally as we get down to the bottom we've got filters so that's another way that you can do uh, create your own workflow. If your work involves a lot of calls, a lot of emails, uh, maybe communications. And I do see a lot of people do ask me questions about this and this can all be created as a daily workflow. So there's another way that you can do it. But <clears throat> there's a, possibly another one that I've seen that a lot of people can do this. This is a really good one, which is these ones here. So today's priorities, I'll add that to my favorites. Today's should do's add to favorites and today's would like to do so we'll add that to favorites now this is a really good trick because what you're doing is you're using to do is natural flagging system to create this so when you do your planning for the day and I hope you do you do your planning for the day it's going to the next seven days so let's go into here and let's just say because I've set this sorry I should show you the filters because people are going to ask me what are the filters okay sorry the filters for this one is uh, today and P1, okay? The next one is today and P2, you can see here, today and P2, and that one is, the third one is today and P3, okay? And you can choose the colors and various other things. Sorry, I know you're gonna ask me, what are the filters queries, so there you go. So what we've got here is today's priorities, today's should do's, and today would like to do, and I really like this idea. I'm not going to adopt it myself because I'm so used to my Golden 10 and my 2 plus 8. But for those of you who are not really interested in using the Golden 10 or the 2 plus 8, then this is another way that you can create your own daily workflow within Todoist. Now, let's go into the next seven days and I'll just start some ads. So let's just uh, say this one is going to be for today. I did that wrong. I'm going to do that one for today. And we'll do, this is a priority for... The one, We'll change the dates for this one. This one's a priority for today. Priority for today. Um, let's go down. We can we can change any of these. This one can be for today. And uh, we'll, we'll do one more for today. Okay, so what I can do now is go into my today view and I can just add the flag. So let's say that my complete start of day checklist was a priority, is a priority. Bang, we'll flag it. 15 minute meditation, we'll flag that as a priority for today. Okay, so what we're going to do now is as we go through my daily, so I've done my planning for the day just by adding flags. That's all I have to do is add flags. And I can do that from the next seven days, by the way. And that will bring up my today's priorities. So this could be my two priorities for the day. Once they're clear, let's clear those, bang, bang. I move down to the next one, which is today's should do's. And I start working on those. We get those done, bang. Bang, they're done, and we hit would like to do's. Okay, and then we get boom, and they're done, and your day is complete. And I really like this, and this is a really, really simple way of creating a daily workflow that will keep you focused in on what is truly important to you. But there are multiple ways of doing this, and since Todoist actually uh, allowed us to create these filters these favorites i should say then it's amazing what you can actually build as a daily workflow so you don't have to keep going into projects looking for work as long as you're spending five to ten minutes the next day and that's what i mean you go into the next seven days look at tomorrow and say yeah that's definitely a priority uh i really need to clear my action today folder so i'm going to make that uh I should do and you know you can just go through for the next day and you can actually plan it out it wouldn't take you very long to do that and then when tomorrow comes around you've got your so your setup that would be a very very fast way for you to actually get hold of your days and make sure that you're prioritizing in the right way and you get to decide the night before well i hope that's been useful for you it's something that came up to me uh, with a lot of people have asked me about how to create their daily workflows and this is a really good way of doing it. It doesn't take long to set it up. You just create the filters today and P1, today and P2 and today and P3. And then all you have to do is 
before you finish for the day just go into your next seven days view and just add the flags to the task that you want and that's really quite simple as you say just hit the three dots there your flags are right there and you just hit the flag and your days prioritizing is done thank you very much for watching this episode it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you very much for watching this video now have i got something special to tell you about the Time and Life Mastery version 3 course has launched. Now this course is transformative. It will transform your life. If you find that your life is drifting from one day to the next and that you feel that you're not actually achieving your goals, then this course is going to show you how to change that. It's going to show you how to identify what is truly important to you. It's going to show you how to find what it is you want out of life and then show you the steps that you need to take in order to get there. This course is amazing. The feedback I've got from versions one and version two have just been tremendous. It has helped so many people and I want this opportunity to tell you that it can do the same for you. I hope you will take a look at the course, have a go, take the course, and start transforming your life today. This course will do that for you. Take a look, get yourself enrolled, and hopefully I'll see you in the course.